warm welcome to your wake up women series today we have yet another special woman who is coming in she is a 49 year old architect and urban designer who was fed up with the banks advisors giving her all the advice that she doesn't understand and doesn't trust so she basically got tired with her own distrust and thought she'll do something about it so today we have vandani mehta coming in to share her experience of how it was with wealth creation and financial skill building let's see if she's around already okay she sent me a request guys so stay tuned if you are around do start sharing that you are around okay i can see many of you here comes a special woman hey vandini welcome hi hi thank you for coming in good evening how are you doing i'm doing really well the light just went off as uh, it became 5 <laughs> o'clock so <laughs> but i was looking yeah. forward to chatting with you and catching and that good luck can i tell you vandani that's absolute good luck because every time i go live and the light goes off i'm like okay today the live is going to rock baby So, absolutely i like that spirit <laughs> so let's go ahead please share a bit about yourself a lot of our community members have already joined in they are waiting for you to get started so please begin okay so uh, you know i'm uh, an architect and urban designer by profession i am a mother of a 13 year old uh, child and i have a very loving husband and father in law um and i live in delhi um and i'm uh, going to be 49 in two days <laughs> oh happy so birthday to you <laughs> thanks so yeah that's that's about me yeah you know got it show. got it and and what what's the story behind the urban designer i'm sure you are making money you've made a loads of money till now how was it with investments what happened so please start sharing okay i'll so you know it's an interesting journey because i won't say i've made a lot of money with uh, with anything so far but i've been very blessed i've never had a lack of money and so i think that's why i, I thought it was interesting that and important for me to share my story even though i was really hesitant i said then why do i need to share my story because i realized even as a norm you know like a person who doesn't seem like there's a crunch for money or there's a dire need or straits of in my financial crisis i did feel that i didn't know anything about money so growing up my dad was um, uh, who's no more now but he was in the government service so we were well looked after uh, we never had too much money because he was a man of high integrity so there was never extra cash flow in the house very very uh, you know just uh, by the means as you i mean i was growing up in the 80s so it was even the pre liberalization days and it was simple life and uh, then i think i took on much of his ideals and i also joined a profession which is fantastic profession uh, there can be a lot of money but again if you are a it is i don't know if you know about this book called the fountain head it's is you know you know you it's the passion for the art it's not the passion for money that makes an architect a good architect so money was never a big criteria growing up or even in my profession but i do feel that something was a little odd about the fact that i couldn't focus uh, i you know i even in my profession i felt like i didn't have the courage to really ask for money to get my uh, claims to get my due fee uh, and so it's not like we've always had i've had a very uh, rocking profession where i've made lots of money you know right. so it's not one of those professions right And so, and so then, difficulty I mean, I in asking for money is quite a common thread, because I've seen so many women talk about it, and I'm glad. I'm actually glad that you brought that in. It's a huge yeah. problem. Go ahead, Vandani. I mean, Vandani. profession. Yeah. I mean, it's a good. It's a good profession, but you'd be shocked. I mean, even the people I hire, the pay scales we have are absolutely abominable at this in this day and age. You really can't survive in them. I have my own practice. I'm, I'm blessed to have my own practice. My husband is also an architect. So again, I am very grateful for all I have. But I know that it's not a pr- profession which has made me feel secure about my money life. 
Mm-hmm. So that when added to the financial scenario of the world outside and, uh, you know, and we're also from a family, uh, maybe I should bring the, this little cultural bit in. I am a uh, Mewadi. So, you okay. know, money and Marwadis are famous, if you know. They're Gujaratis right. and Marwadis, right? Who, may, who are the biggest <laughs> business people in, in our country. But I'm right. a Mewadi. So we're from the Udaipur region, whereas Marwadis uh-huh. are from the Jodhpur region. And we are okay. the polar opposites of Jodhpuris, <laughs> which are the Marwadis. Uh, we don't talk about money. In our families, in our households, it's all about education. We are historically a service class people. So it's funny uh-huh. as a whole, as a whole culture also right. I imbibe that. And so you don't right. talk about money. It's a bad thing. You right. know, you work hard and you get whatever you deserve, etc., etc. And money corrupts. So it's, it's sort of an evil thing. But that's something I'm only seeing now. I never even thought I had these, uh, uh, you know, uh, notions about money till I did a wonderful money gym program uh, with you where I realized that one has to introspect on our relationship with money. You know, we go counselors and we introspect on our relationship, uh, relationships in our childhood, our friends, our family growing up. But we don't introspect on this relationship with money, which is so key. Right. That is something I, I think a uh, session that we did on introspection. What is your relationship with money and how do you feel about your money life? You know, really made me think about larger uh, it got me really thinking about larger things than just uh, the immediate issue of uh, that money can buy you this, that or the other. Right. Yeah. Got it. And, and you're so bang on. I mean, most of us never, ever examine our own relationship with money. I mean, our relationship with money is nothing, guys, for all of you are listening. It's just what we think about it. And where is it coming from? Like, you know, clearly it's coming from your Mewari uh, background and um, how beautifully you've distinguished it for yourself. (laughs) Right. Yeah. And how beautifully you've you've actually distinguished. in the family and Mewaris and it's... Yeah, go ahead, Vandri. It's a joke in our families because Marwari is like, you know, we all know, everyone knows about Marwari. There's so many jokes about Marwaris and money. But Mewaris right. are so quiet about money. It's are, are exactly the opposite. So yeah, it's a, wow. it's an interesting. But I'd say I'll go ahead to say that you know yeah. this relationship. I mean, this all this introspection was done in these last few months when, you know, in the money gym program where I like I had to, you know, it was some things that were worth worth doing. And so it's funny because of because me and my husband are both professionals and we work together in the same field. We part right. Okay, have I lost Vandani? I have. Guys, have we lost her? Okay, Vandani, did we lose you for a second? I think we did. Are you back? I think you lost me there, right? Because Vandani, I can't hear you. Back and... okay. okay. Can't hear me Are you? Okay. Yes, I can. I can very clearly hear you. Okay, your photograph. Okay, yes, your, your video is back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Please share. Okay, great. You were saying something. Great. So I was saying that because my husband and I, we are the same uh, profession. And often I would find that, you know, he'd be very happy the way I would deal with money. Um, And then that also made me, I think, take this course. Because I was was always questioning, but we're not supposed to worry about it. We're not supposed to overthink this money business. And he said, but we have a life. And I said, yes. And then there was this funny joke we always had because, um, and again here, you know, I have to say that. Vandani, this your is voice is breaking up and, quite a uh, lot. Out there who don't Vandani. who want to have a better relationship with money and either their husbands or their fathers have sort of not allowed them to. In my case, Vandani, I am losing your voice. Do you think you can you can exit and come back in? Yeah. Because yeah, Pooja is also saying she can't hear. So I think again problem. Yes, yes, Vandani. Can you can you go out and come back in? Okay, 
she's trying guys i love my people pallavi you're saying you love the interesting mewari angle actually i love it too i think there is so much to learn from just vandani what vandani has said till now i'm actually moved i'm really really moved at this point because um there are such few women who will really talk about their relationship with money and how it was where they were and it is it is mostly never alone that you are able to distinguish what it is so let's see if we can bring her in and have more interesting conversations nidhi is my voice breaking is that what you are saying guys can you not hear me okay let's see Vandani okay, are you I back? I'm back. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Please go ahead and you were talking about your husband really telling you that buddy awesome. you're not good with money please do something about it. So yes, though he's been very kind and gentle so you're please go. You're not good with money and I've heard this and I would just like laugh at him. Right. Yeah, so I would laugh at him and say, you know, I am this we have enough and we've it's all going fine and I don't have to keep asking for money. and i would shit it off and then the joke also went you so he's a bit of more of an artistic bent of mine so uh, and i am sort of more practical and technical oriented person even though our profession is the same and so he would always say i just want to be an artist and retire so you have to figure out how to earn the money and that's that's what i had also told him that's what we're going to do and somehow i was slipping even though i have i was quite determined that you know i'm the new age woman so to say and i have I've got all the choices in my life. If I've had no real things holding me back, and that's I think so important to share. Despite all of that, I did start slipping, Priyanka, I, and I have to confess it. And I'm only capable of confessing it now. For uh, 15 years together, and I've da- da- laughed at him. I've we fought about it, and I always said, you know, you want to worry about money. We have enough, and we're getting enough. So I don't know if I'm hung again. Can yes, you seems me? like seems like clearly. <laughs> Today your Wi-Fi isn't supporting our super interesting conversation. Like really, are you back? Like you said, the challenges make it even more interesting. So this. <laughs> Channel, you can just maybe you can just place the phone on. somewhere, Vandani, so that you know you're not moving it. Can you do that? Okay. Yeah. yeah Would sure. that work? Yeah. I yeah. really can't do that because I couldn't. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Let's see. Let's let's figure. I think the universe will support us because this is a this is an important conversation, and I think many many women need to be here, like really hearing this. So yeah go ahead please Okay Okay so um so I was saying that you know uh can you hear me can in Yes I yes Vandani go ahead video, Priyanka I don't know if okay great So so yeah so I was always joke that you know we have enough but slowly and steadily as I was growing older in age and definitely the pandemic nailed it there was a discomfort and i knew that this at this age i felt even more sort of helpless to turn that around because i'm close to 50 i'm not a 30 year old uh, that i can you know start a new profession i mean i can of course nothing stopping me and in fact that's one of the new things i've also got a new sort of youth about me because i've met so many young people who are so doing so, such good things and uh, such mature fantastic women on this group uh, and our community i learned okay guys vandani's internet is not supporting us it's a super interesting story yeah really important thing that she's saying but somehow we're losing her again and again okay vandani are you back are you back okay i can't hear you
Uh, okay. Guys, can you hear one? I'm going to try. Okay, she's gone again. And well, whenever you have a a superwoman like that, this is bound to happen, right? <laughs> she's spoken like some golden words today. I'm just going back and thinking to myself that yeah, at 49 and when the pandemic hits you and you feel financially insecure you actually get present to what will happen once you are 60 65 because at that age definitely there's no loan which can be taken no like not really a lot of people start new careers at that age and how vulnerable we become so yeah i'm like really moved like i said earlier moved by this conversation let's see if we can hear her this time yet another chance anyone experience financial anxiety a lot of us here in this community feel that samiksha go ahead vandini are you back we're all waiting for you together can you hear me hi yes. can you hear me yes seems better now let's see please go ahead i hope it stays okay so i um was sharing that um yeah that you know with my profession and age and uh, having everything in place but i think i knew i had a discomfort with the way i was uh, saving and my future plans because you know and also we it's not i mean like really like i said i'm so blessed again and again i feel and particularly you realize and your gratitude level in the last year has also gone up as much as some of the anxieties have that you have all of this but uh, the it's it's also mystic how at the right time when i when one was feeling this in the this discomfort also you know i saw a message which i would have really never responded because i didn't even know i needed financial mm-hmm. help right because i had given up i didn't even think it was possible frankly because i'm not cured and now that i'm cured and i can see it's all over how was i missing it but um i had to get the right help when i had to meet you uh, and i feel that it was um it was so important and that's why i really wanted i'm really camera shy so uh, i've never done anything on instagram i don't even have barely an active post uh so i did feel that i needed to share the fact for normal people who are doing okay nothing no crisis in their life right. that we cannot afford to go on like this because it there's no joy in not knowing what you can do in the future if you could save up and so it helped me i thought i really wanted to share my basic go, uh, learning the biggest learning i had was that uh figuring out my financial life and figuring out my financial goals and how taking steps to secure them helped me learn that i can